Killing is my duty. Fun is yelling surprise. <laughs> Katarina was born to a noble and respected family, Dukotu, in Noxus. While her sister, Cassiopeia, was close to her mother, Katarina was very much her father's daughter. So her father, General Dukotu, mostly spent his time with Katarina. He also saw a big potential in this little girl. While children at her age were running around and playing games, Katarina had no room for idling around. No kindness, no rest. She spent all her time testing blades and steel, testing her endurance, dexterity, stamina and such. She even stole poison from the city's least reputable apothecaries and injected them in her body to achieve poison immunity. All she wanted to do was to be useful to Noxus. She was so eager to use her talent for her empire's favor, and for that she trained since she was a kid. After some time, her first task came straight from her father. Katarina was ordered to assassinate a line officer of the opposing army, a person named Demetrius. Although she always wanted to kill to help her empire, Katarina was so disappointed she was so angry that she was sent to kill an unskilled man who couldn't even swing a sword. However, she went to the campground where her target was. But instead of eliminating her target, she infiltrated into the camp and slit the throat of the enemy army commander while he was asleep. It was a perfect execution. Katarina was so happy thinking the commander's death would give Noxus a swift victory and her father would be proud of her. After dawn, Katarina's father's camp was attacked by the army of vengeful Demetrius. Dozens of Noxians were killed and her father barely escaped with his life. Her father was beyond furious, refusing even to look his daughter in the eyes. She had disgraced him and their family name. The greatest assassins do not look for recognition or glory. That was what he always told to her, but she failed him. Katarina's world turned upside down. She alone left Noxus to complete the unfinished business to regain her honor. But she was so thoughtful. Even if her father had forgiven her, would she forgive herself? She was so distracted that she didn't see her attacker until he nearly took her eye out. The attacker was Talon. He could have killed her, but he chose not to. Talon was sent by the general to punish her. But Katarina was not done yet. With her deep scar on her eye, she kept moving and arrived at the camp where her target was. Katarina was expected there, so Demetrius was protected with dozens of soldiers. Knowing there was no chance at all to make it silent, Katarina said whatever it takes and rushed towards the enemy soldiers. Every time she swung her blades, the soldiers fell one by one and Katarina got closer to her target. After the bloody dance she did with her blades, she managed to save her pride with the last blade she threw. Katarina cut off her target's head and dropped it at his father's feet. Katarina knew she lost his father's trust and she also knew she would never regain it. She vowed to redeem herself, to rededicate her talents to the Empire and to become the sinister weapon she always intended to be. And the scar on her eye would be there forever to be a reminder for her. Also, there is some extra information about Katarina. Katarina's father is nowhere to be found. It is assumed that Swain betrayed him, then killed him. But Swain refuses it. Do they know who killed your father? Or do they still blame me? I hope your father begged when Swain betrayed him. Secondly, Katarina is around 25 years old. And while Katarina and her father supported Swain, Cassiopeia and her mother were secretly members of the Black Rose. Remember to like and subscribe! <laughs>